Today is August 29th. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Take a moment and quiet yourself. Take a deep breath. Welcome God's presence and say, come Holy Spirit. Today's reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 1. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son and he gave him the name Jesus. As you come to prayer today, is there any part of Joseph's experience in this reading that you identify with? Scripture tells us that Joseph was a faithful man a kind man, and clearly a man whose plans had been radically interrupted by God. No one anticipates having their life turned upside down by the call of God. Can you remember a time in your own life where you experienced the interruptive call of God? When we listen to familiar passages like this one, sometimes we forget that our sisters and brothers who experienced these things didn't know the rest of the story. They said yes, without knowing the full picture, the whole history of which they were a part. When Mary said yes to the angel and when Joseph was obedient to God's commands, They had zero idea what was going to happen. Their yes was given out of obedience to God. 
trust in God's character and faith in his power. Listen again and try to imagine what this would be like for Joseph. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace. He had in mind to divorce her quietly but after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son and he gave him the name Jesus. As we come to the end of our time of prayer, ask God for the kind of faith that Joseph demonstrated when he said yes to God, not knowing what was ahead. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power that I may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Come.